So, he's in Thailand now. Freaking mountains. There's mountains over there. There's a mountain. So, I'm gonna do a little what I eat in a day video. No more donkey fruit for this guy. I'm climbing to the top of the fruit mountain and I'm taking you with me. I got nature's bounty on my countertop. That's nature's bounty right there. That's what that is. That's what all that is. Oh my God. So I've been starting my day out with a little bit of coconut water. I just chop it open like a monkey. Monkeys don't do it. They're cheap out here. I got a big bag of 10 of these for 180 baht. It's up there. I can't do it in real time. Brain doesn't do it. So I'm gonna show you everything I eat today. I've been going out to lunch with Brett, but I'm on my own today. It's my first day alone in the city and I'm not sure if I'm gonna go out amongst the town and find a restaurant to eat at, but I might just do 100% raw day and stay in my little cave safe. So let's get started on the coconut. This is my only knife, it's a light one. So hopefully it has enough beef to cut a coconut. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what a rookie bitch. Coconut rookie bitch. Now you just pour it in a glass. There we go. It's weird not having stuff. I don't have all the things I'm used to having. So that's breakfast. We got coconut water. Refreshing. All right, it's time for breakfast. Bowels have been evacuated. Was getting a little worried there, not gonna lie. Yesterday for lunch, I had this vegan bacon lettuce tomato sandwich, which had three slices of bread. And then I had followed that with a big waffle with vegan ice cream and chocolate. I was like, yeah, my intestines are glued together now. It's just a big hunk of glue in there. It's never gonna come out. A little coconut water is all you need. Helps flush things out. So we're gonna have one of these watermelons. Let's cut it open to see if it's red. All right, I've selected my melon. Just gonna cut it open. Ta-da, look at that. Look at the redness of that. Oh my God. So far the watermelons here have just been so good. I've had a couple that I just, I picked wrongly. I picked them too late. So they're a little different. They're a little harder to judge. One cool thing is every watermelon I've ever seen so far has been seeded. It's just like, that's the norm here. Back in Toronto, every one is seedless and then you find the odd one that's seeded. Seeded fruit is so much better for you. That's how it was originally. It means it can have sex with itself and reproduce, I don't, I don't understand how fruit sex works, but still, I'm gonna eat this watermelon. So red and gorgeous, oh my God. So I think I'm gonna eat this and then go out for the first time on my own to explore the area. I found a market on Google Maps, we'll go there. I'll do, I'll do another video for that. That won't be in this video, I just teased you. Oh my God, next meal coming up, no market. So I'm going for my walk now. I'm gonna bring this and some water. This is just a little orange juice, 100% oranges. It tastes so much better than the pasteurized orange juice in Toronto, I don't know why. Maybe it's just fresher, but that stuff tastes bitter. This is amazing. So this was kind of an unexpected part of my journey today. I just wanted to go to the market, but then I saw the sign to this home restaurant that I've been to, it was so delicious. I'm just like, oh, why not? So this is what I'm having for lunch. We got a vegan burger here. I got some jasmine rice on the side and some broccoli stir fry. Kale broccoli tofu stuff. 
should be delicious. And if you want to see how I found this place by accident, you'll have to watch tomorrow's video on my, my journey to the market. I'm teasing you in both videos back and forth. So the burger's pretty good. It's not quite as good as the vegan heaven burger that I had the other day with black beans. Oh my God. You can't go wrong with a black bean burger. So the ambiance isn't as nice as it was yesterday. They brought the kids in. Kids, what good are they? This stuff is actually really good. The broccoli kale, it's got little tofu things. And these, these ones right here are so yummy. I think it's a mushroom. Oh, not that thing. Leave be, go, go for it. That thing, yum town. Okay, we're back home. I think I fell asleep. I don't know what knocked me out, if it was just the restaurant, food, or the Thailand summer heat in the mid-afternoon walking home. It was so hot. It's so hot here. It's so much hotter in this apartment than it was at Brett's house. I take everything back. I can't handle the heat. Help me. So dinner is just gonna be choosing from nature's bounty all that. I'll probably have some of these mangoes. I got so many mangoes, I wanna eat them before they go off. Fruit doesn't last as long here. It's like you gotta keep on top of the schedules of ripening. So I'm gonna have some mangoes and tomatoes, maybe one of these cherimoyas. I think one of these is ripe, the one over there. These are so much better here than they were in Toronto. This is one of the fruits that's just like, oh my God. It's creamy and juicy here, whereas they're just like moldy back home. It's tough to get a good one, but that'll be it. I have a coconut in the fridge. So usually I have my coconut water in the morning and then I eat the meat at night. And that will be it. That will be it for today. We did it. We did a what I eat in a day Thailand edition. So I think we're done here for today. I just wanted to end with the blurry mountain view. So blurry, so beautiful, oh my God. Thanks for watching the video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down. If you have 17 pet penguins and you keep them all tied together with ribbons and you make them dance on stage, you make a play, who would pay to see that? Well, that was lame. Penguins, we're done. Subscribe for more videos, still, even though that was terrible. I'll see you in the next one. Follow.